Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, hit that subscribe button. Comment down below what you want to see next and like the video for more content. Okay guys, today we're turning Starburst into a syrup. Which then you can use on pancakes, snow cones, even ice cream. Grabbed three of these things from Speedway Oleo. They were one dollar, which really isn't bad. I got three of these and I separated the colors. So now, all you want to do is grab any flavor you like, which to me the pink ones and the red ones are the two best flavors in there. But we're going to do the pink and the red today. We're not going to do them in the same mason jar, we're going to do two separate mason jars. But let me show you how this is done. Three, two, one. We have our candy. Again, it doesn't look like a much, but do keep in mind once you add the liquid to it, <clears throat> excuse me, and start to liquefy, within probably eight hours to uh, 10 hours, these should be good to go. But let me show you what we're going to be using because we're not using water with this. To make sure this all tastes good, we're using a little bit of Sprite to mix in to this. This is just, just like we did with the Mike and Ike. In the last video up here but today let's try it out guys so let's go ahead open up a sprite we got the first solid glass going in is it ruined nah this is gonna make it taste even better got the uh second side glass going in that's all you, that's all you need for this one go ahead and close it and let it liquefy itself do the exact same thing to the next one. Red, red, red ones are good to go. Pink one. By nighttime, these should be fully lit, liquefied because I gotta go to work. So, let me give it one good shake. There we go. And now, you can set these aside either on the table, on your refrigerator, if you got them in the refrigerator, or just, you can put them in the refrigerator if you want to. Again, this is just bite, so you don't really need to refrigerate this, you can just leave it out. But since mason jobs are airtight, these will be good to go by tonight. But you guys know what time it is. This is daytime, let's go ahead and switch over to nighttime in three, two, one. It is now nighttime. Let's check up on our candy. You can see in the mason jar that all the candy has uh, dissolved and the white stuff you see on the top is just the sugar. I'm gonna uh, filter, filter both of these out and then I'll show you I can turn these into a syrup. To filter it, all you need is just a reusable coffee filter uh, but be careful because some things that you can turn to liquid won't actually filter. So just be careful of what things you want to filter. This is what my coffee filter looks like after I filtered all that stuff out. Here's what the red one looks like after you filter it. Alright guys, I washed the mason jars out with, with water. You can see the pink one looks a lot better. So does the red one. Um, now that they've been filtered, let me show you how you what you need to turn this into a syrup. The first thing you can use to turn into a syrup is very simple. Just one cup of corn syrup. If, it, if you don't have corn syrup in your house, you could use uh, one cup of sugar. But you gotta bring all this stuff to a boil and then let it sit for 30 minutes though. But sugar wouldn't give you the best results. Corn syrup, real. So, if I was you, I would use corn syrup. Before I move on with the video, let me taste test this, both of these, because these were in Sprite. And the combination when I opened the pink one, popped, so. That's what's really good, honestly. Let me take a sip of this for a second. Mm. 
it's weird, it's like fizzy. Like a fizzy Starburst. See how the pink one tastes. I mean, the oh god. There is no fizz in this, just straight up red candy. I meant to say red, not pink on this one. But yeah, it tastes like Starburst. Both of them do. They're strong too. Now, if you guys don't want to turn this into a syrup from from this method right here, just from right here before I move on, you can take what you have right here, make a popsicle out of it, or do what you want with it. But if you want to turn it into a syrup, then move on with me, and I'll show you what to do. And you can use any kind of corn syrup, it doesn't really have to be from uh, Save A Lot, but this is the Save A Lot version I got. For those of you asking, you do not need a candy thermometer to do this, but at least my stove gets past 200 degrees, so this is going to take, I'll show you what to do and show you how to take this step. I don't know what I just said, but just listen to me and you'll get everything perfect. This is nighttime. I just got off work about 11 o'clock and look what time it is, guys. So I'm a little tired, so that's the reason why. Go ahead and get a medium sized pot like this. Go ahead and turn your stove on to medium high and then wait five minutes because this is going to take a while for this to heat up, but just wait five minutes to heat up. I'll see what time it is in five minutes. All right, guys, it's been about five minutes. We can all agree the best Starbucks is the pink one. So let's do the pink one first. Bring this to a boil. Boiling this will take out the carbonation from the Sprite, but you still will have the Sprite flavor if the candy is not overpowering though. It's starting to boil pretty quickly. Now, add in one cup of corn syrup. Okay, let's go ahead and add in our corn syrup. This is pretty thick guys, so this might take a second. And now guys, go ahead and stir it up. Now all you want to do guys is bring this to back to a boil. Keep in mind the consistency is going to change when it starts to cool down, but take a look at the consistency right now. You can see that it's still a liquid base, but bring this to a boil and then we'll move on. But make sure you take out the spoon. Keep in mind this will do this and this is going to try to boil over. So make sure you keep an eye on this, but right now, this is okay. If, if you see it like this, let it keep going. Okay guys, I just had to stove mine back up. Time is now one o'clock in the morning. Go ahead and turn off the stove. You can see it's starting to boil, boil back up again. Once the time hits 102, 103, pull off. Pull this off the stove and move it to a cold space. Time is now 103, go ahead and pull this off the stove. You can wait 30 minutes for it to cool down and then transfer from the pot into a syllable container. Got a guy mason jar that can withstand the heat. So I'm only going to wait 15 to 20 minutes for mine. If you also have a mason jar, do what I'm doing. But over time, this will get thick as it's cooling down and I'll show you the results when this is cooled down. The time is 1.30 guys, let's check up on it. Okay, you can see it has definitely thickened up a lot. Yeah, look at that, guys.
this thing is now a sewer. You can go ahead and get your mason jar back. You guys are probably asking me, how does it taste? Um, does it still taste like the candy? How is the carbonation? And if you guys cannot hear me out there during this process, I did say that if you're using soda, the carbonation when you boil it will be gone. Um, thankfully, we only had a small amount of that candy, so I didn't boil over, but uh, again, keep an eye on it. And you can see how thick it was out in the kitchen. You can still see this is a little bit thicker compared to the one I had oil, earlier, which, uh, hold on guys. Here's the one that has not been turned into syrup. Here's the one that has. You can see the difference in this. So, but now feel free to use this on anything you guys want to. Pancakes, ice cream, snow cones, saved ice, etc. Now you have it. As for this other one, I'm going to keep this one for safekeeping for a little bit just to see which one was better. But I think the most picked flavor in Starburst is the pink and the red ones because they're both the best ones. But if you guys want to add more, I would definitely want to add the cone syrup too because you can definitely get more out of this than you would the small amount from the candy itself. But just a little bit more way to add more of this to stuff. But now, I'll do you guys a favor and I'll take a sip of it and see how it tastes. It smells a lot better since it was uh, on the stove and it got boiled. This, boiled. this, one, this one smells a lot better too. Oh. Super thick and super sweet. It's delicious. But then we don't want to eat too much of or eat. Then we don't want to take too much of that because that is really sweet. But on the other hand though, it tastes like Starboast. So that's a good thing. So so if you guys love Starboast, there you guys go. That's one idea you guys could probably make. Cause you can see the syrup one, we have a lot. The candy one, we didn't we didn't really have a lot in the candy, but this is one other way just to add more stuff to your, um, your candy. And again, you're not gonna affect the taste, nor the color. But as for the Sprite, I don't really taste the Sprite because it's, it's gone. The Starburst overpowered the Sprite, so now it just tastes like Starburst. And the combination, yeah, it's gone. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys would try this out. Let me know if you guys like it, where you love it. And again, if you guys have family or friends that can't really eat like hard candy or something, or, or chew gummies like that, well, do, do, do this for them. They'll love you forever if you do this. Um, again, just follow my method and you'll get everything perfect. Um, but de de definitely go check out my other videos where I've turned things into popsicles and into syrup. Um, I'll, probably, I'll probably add them into a playlist all together. So I guess I have to go through my videos trying to find them. They'll be on a playlist, but that takes some time to do. But with all that being said though guys, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next video. Put God in his son first. And I'll see you next time. Just a sneak peek if you guys watch my review channel. It's Review Station. Reviewing the hard, the hard Mountain Dew. Pineapple tomorrow. Look, look, look what I got guys. The McDonald's 
new sauce. Trying to add bleepers to the end of my videos though. I think you guys will like it though. But subscribe if you're new.